Having signed a new contract through to 2026, Jurgen Klopp set at Liverpool for the long haul. Yet while he's brought the good times back to Anfield, this hasn't been achieved alone. So who are the key men behind the scenes at the AXA training centre? Well, first up is assistant manager Pep Linders, perhaps one of the most well-known number twos in the business. The Dutchman's in his second spell with the Reds, having started out at PSV Eindhoven before moving on to Porto in 2007, a key step in his own development working within the youth ranks, as he told Liverpool's official website back in 2019. He said, I got more structure in my ideas, a better hierarchy of my principles. Tactical periodization became my frame. It was a beautiful time. I delivered three sessions a day. He added, my Portuguese sentiment will never disappear. I really have the feeling I got everything out of my seven years at the club. In 2014, he arrived at Liverpool initially as under-16s coach before being promoted by Jurgen Klopp in a newly created position of first-team development coach, working as a link between the first team and the academy. In January 2018, though, Linders decided to have a go at management himself, taking the reins at NEC in the Dutch second tier, but would return to Liverpool ahead of the 2018-19 season after failing to gain promotion to the Eredivisie in the playoffs. Replacing Klopp's long-term number two, Zelko Buvac, Linders would go on to play a key role in the 2019 Champions League win, as well as the success that's followed, even taking charge of the Reds' Premier League visit to Chelsea in January 2022. Next on the list is Peter Kravitz, another of Klopp's assistants. Nicknamed the I. Kravitz and Klopp's working relationship goes back to their time at Mainz, where Kravitz initially worked as chief scout before graduating onto the coaching staff at Dortmund prior to the move to Liverpool in 2015. Kravitz's main area of expertise is within scouting, as well as analysis and set pieces. Understated and reserved, the German was thrust into the limelight in January 2022 as he held Liverpool's pre-match press conference for an FA Cup tie with Shrewsbury with both Jurgen Klopp and Pep Linders in isolation. Finally, there's Vita Matos. Liverpool's flurry into the Portuguese market hasn't only been refined to the playing field, with the acquisitions of the likes of Diogo Jota, Luis Diaz and Darwin Nunez, but with Matos has also been seen within the coaching setup. Like Linders, Matos came to Liverpool via Porto, this time in October 2019, taking on the position of elite development coach, the same role previously undertaken by Linders. Matos worked at Porto in a number of coaching and scouting roles from the under-10s all the way up to Porto B, as well as a two-year stint in China working as a youth technical coordinator and under-16s head coach. With the likes of Trent Alexander-Arnold and Curtis Jones having graduated from the academy in recent seasons, Matos has already played a key role in developing young talent to help the first team, as seen with both Reese Williams and Tyler Morton stepping up in recent years. With the likes of Kai Gordon and Bobby Clark also in the Liverpool youth ranks, Matos's role within Klopp's coaching setup is only likely to become more telling as time goes on.